joining us now, CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford. Well, Jack, she's not going home just yet. She isn't, Chris. You know, some interesting things played out in the courtroom. First is the defense had said to the judge, all right, four separate counts, but she should be sentenced just on a single count. Their argument was that it was over a long conversation with police officers that she delivered these four different lies. One of them had to do with this non-existent nanny. And as a consequence, the, the defense said, one count. It should just be one count, one sentence. The judge agreed with the prosecution, said no. Four separate counts here. We're going to view them as four separate counts. And as Karen said, I'm going to impose four separate one-year sentences for each of them. And then the judge stacked them all on top of each other. Four years consecutive, bottom line. So now the judge, judge officials, lawyers, are all going to compute the actual time that she's going to still remain in yeah. jail. You would think this would be simple. It's not. They know you get a day-for-day -day credit for how many days she already spent, 990-some days. Yeah. But then they all have to sit down and say, okay, what about the good time in the jail, what they call gain time in the jail? So the judge has said, we're all going to get together, we'll put our heads together, uh, we'll get out our calculators, and we'll figure out just how much more credit she's going to get off of this four-year sentence. And they said they might have a, an answer sometime later today, a hard number as to how much more time she has to do before she gets out. Okay, so she's able to be acquitted on the major charges, murder, manslaughter, and abuse. But the judge, real, Judge Perry really hits her pretty hard here with the, the, yeah. these four counts uh, of lying to prosecutors. He did. You're lying to the court. The reality is, you know, if she was a first-time offender, not Casey Anthony, in a different type of case and lied to police officers, Odds are she'd be getting probation, community service, pay the cost of what the, the investigation was, but ordinarily you wouldn't see a first-time offender getting hit for the maximum, and certainly consecutive, one on top of the other. It, it, the reality is, Casey Anthony, a death, a death was involved. I don't think anybody's surprised by this. And now there's talk uh, of, like Karen mentioned, paying back yeah. some of the costs for some of these wild goose chases caused by some of these lies. Statute requires that a, a defendant pay back what they, had to, what they had to expend in terms of resources, manpower. The big question here is going to be, where is the line going to be drawn here? Because this was a long, protracted murder investigation. Yeah. So the judges said, we'll do a hearing here, and we'll parse this all out and figure out how much she's going to eventually have to pay back to the state of Florida. And maybe this is a little bit of an odd question because I think so many people were so surprised when the original verdict came down just days ago. Is this a little bit of a surprise that they're sending her back to jail for possibly at least another year? I, I don't think it's a big surprise. I think when you looked at it, uh, my thought was she'd go back for a few weeks or a month maybe yeah. uh, rather than getting out absolutely today. All right. Jack Ford, thanks. Good to see you as always.